Hello my dears, it's me, Kesaka Jack here, and welcome back to Sally Face. With this absurdly annoying noise. Like, why do we already start like this? Oh, sure, yes, please. If exiting means that this noise is going to stop, I, I'm, I'm taking it. Oh boy. Oh, hi, demon. You look so sad. Bills him up. Why you look so sad? Who are you? I am Lord Belzebub. Whoa, really? So you like the devil or something? No, it is a nickname bestowed upon me by my kin. Family can be rough. Indeed. Um. Can I get into the door? Be right back. I don't think there's anywhere else for me to go, so I'm gonna ask if you will allow me to go to that place. You've just only arrived. No, you may not pass through my doorway. Oh. You must first admire my art. Your art? Yes. In the dark, there are five. The fifth, you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts, you must gaze upon three. Sure. Once you have done so, report back to me. Alright, whatever you say, Edgar. It's Belzebub. Lord Belzebub. Okay, Bubs. <laughs> Bubs. Can you repeat a little rhyme for me so uh, I can actually read it in my head instead of trying to make a nice voice for you? In the dark there are five. The fifth you mustn't see. Of the remaining four arts you must gaze upon three. Okay. So from five and four you can only see three? Oh yeah, five I cannot see. From the four left, you must gaze upon three. Okay. Is this... Okay, oh nice, yes, yes. Uh, a drawing. I will not remember this drawing unless I write it down. Good that I have a piece of paper and a pen. Let's get drawing. Love puzzles. And this was on the door number three. Okay. Good for me. Was there anything else in here? Trap and rot. I was broken before he found me, scattered and lost. Then he looked upon my face and saw all of me at once. After being discarded by everyone else, after years of not being seen or heard, he saw me, and we were in love. Wait, are you are you the are you the wife of David? And everything was perfect until it all fell apart again. Now there is only pain. I think you're the rest of the, uh, David's wife. I don't remember her name though. But you could be that. Let me go to number one. What is in the number one to see? Alright. That looks like an N. I'll take it. An N and a Th from other languages. I think Icelandic has that ladder. It sounds like a Th or something. Oh! Hello! There was a knock at the door and I could see again. It was me again. Suddenly he forced my hand and this freedom was revealed to be only an illusion. I was forced to watch everything. A prisoner in my own mind. I have done terrible things. Unforgivable things. You're weird and you're scaring me. How can eyes even talk? It doesn't have a mouth to talk. Okay, number two. What do you have for me? Oh, faces. 
Oh, lovely. Oh, the faces are speaking to me. Or that one on the ground is. Their sins. What have we done to deserve such agony? They were determined to devour us all. Nothing could stop them. The burning lights of the gods have faded. Their watchful eyes turned to horrified screams. And then everything was black. Take it. Very interesting. I don't know. Creepy as well. Oh, and I have more drawings. Alright, I'll take it too. Oh, it's a thumb, but uh, the other way. I'm gonna down F. And this is door number two. I am drawing, by the way. See? It's it's all here. I'm drawing it all. I am not that good at drawing, but I am trying. <laughs> door number three I've been in, so let me go to number four. It's locked. Oh! Okay. So, I suppose this is the drawings that I did, right? The hell? But they all have like two symbols, but you're not showing me all the symbols. How am I supposed to know which order it is? Because like, okay, this one has these two symbols, right? But then you go into the other ones, they all give you two symbols. So does it have to do with what they are saying to me? So like here you have two eyes, then you have the faces. What the fuck? I'm sorry! Okay. Not doing that again. Sorry, man. So, I've been inside three. Are you going to tell me now how can I figure out which order it is? Um, so, peering eyes, there since. Can you repeat the rhyme? Maybe I can ask which one, like every one of them. Peering eyes. They are filled with regret and sorrow. Their sins, they are in a lot of pain, trap and rot, they're heartbroken. Can I go through the door now? Once you go through that door, there is no going back. Thank you. You're welcome. See ya, bubs. No, 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 but there's the fourth door. That I cannot figure out the order to open it. I had to look it up. I could not figure it out myself. I was. <sighs> oh, Hi, lady. Her fate, her soul was corrupted by the dark, by hunger, by isolation. She suffered greatly. Through our union, we have saved her. We are the endless echoes within oblivion. We are all that is, was, and will ever be. I didn't report that to Bub, though, because he was already gone. Okay, these are actual numbers that I can remember. By the way, I went back because I wanted Bub to be back. But I'll, I'll get these codes from the wall now. Three, four, two, six, nine, seven. I really try not to look and to walk through to figure out the puzzles. But sometimes the puzzles are above my mental capability. <laughs> And I'm not that smart to figure them out by myself. So that's when I look into puzzles. Otherwise, I usually try my best to figure them out by myself. Okay, Bob, I have uh, seen it all. Oh, I forgot to talk to you again. So, peering eyes, we have seen that. The sins, Trump and Rot, and her fate. They've lost touch with reality. So now I can go back. 
Can I go through the door now? Yeah, once you go through the door, there's no way back. Is there anything else in here? No. Can I try to look at the number 5 again? Just to be sure? Just take a peek. Nope. Nope. Not touching it again. I'm so sorry. It was not my intention to uh, get you upset, bubs. Alright. I'm out of here. Oh, the sky. Anything here? No. That's pretty. Pretty skies. Why am I here? The TV. Turn on. I should have walked a little bit lo further away. Shouldn't I? Oh, there's a lot. Was it? Oh, I like the touch. You can see Sally face in the in the TV. Oh, hi, lady. Hello. Is anyone listening? Is anyone there? Please, I need help. I can't remember who I am. It's so dark here. I remember a blinding light, then a burning pain washed over me. Then I was here. I can't shake this feeling of loss and despair. Am I dead? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe you are. I really don't know, lady. I'm sorry. There's a lot of other, but I don't have the tapes for them. Oh, I'm back. What the? Okay. Um, I'm much older now. Like, I feel like before he was like a 13 year old or something, but now he looks a lot older. Nice masks. I see that you play. HTWM. Wait a minute. Uh, where's my cell phone? Uh, good question. It's not in your room somewhere over here. What happened to your ponytails? You used to wear them all the time. It looks nice. And now you gave up on it? This house room. This place looks different. Are a very own local mystery. In other news, Knockfell Mills was engulfed in flames this morning. Firefighters rushed to the scene, but by the time they were able to eliminate the fire, a majority of the building and materials had already been destroyed. The factory has been a major source of employment for all small towns since 1934. This is the third time the building has caught fire. Though never have been such devastation as today. The authorities believe the fire to be a result of foul play, but couldn't say any more at this time. Earlier this year was also the anniversary of the previous fire, the second largest of the tree. Where over 20 people died. Luckily, this time there were no casualties. However, tree factory workers are currently in the hospital with minor injuries. Currently, it is unclear as to whether the owners can afford to rebuild the mill. They had been on a slow decline for the past decade and have been struggling financially. If they don't rebuild, many families will lose their main source of income. We'll keep you updated as we receive more details. Uh, thank you. Thank you, lady. I suppose we moved out? This looks like a completely different place. I don't even have anything on me. Well, this is a completely different place. Basement. I don't think my phone would be in the basement. But I can... Oh! Gizmo! Nice! Gizmo is still alive! Hey! Gizmo! There you are! How you doing? Dude, really? Where do you keep getting these stickers? Sure thing, my dude! Sure thing! As long as you're enjoying yourself, Gizmo, that's all that matters to me, buddy. That's all that matters to me. You know, I love Gizmo. Gizmo is my baby! All the cats are my babies. My precious, precious babies. I like how you put like a door for Gizmo to go there. Oh, there's a lot of trash in here. Why? Did your father move out? Is your father dead? Where the heck am I? 
Okay, that's a nice kitchen. Front door. What is happening? Where am I? Oh! Hey, dude! I see. I'm in college. Neil. Oh, you're you're the guy's boyfriend. Uh, Todd. You're Todd's boyfriend. Morning, Celio. What's happening? Hey, Neil. No pigtails today, huh? I don't think I've ever seen you with your hair down. I almost didn't recognize you. <laughs> yeah. You feeling alright, man? You seem out of it. I am out of it. <sighs> Nightmares keeping me up. I feel like you're my friend, so let's just say that. Sorry to hear that. It could be stress. I have trouble sleeping when I'm stressed out, too. Anything you want to talk about? No, you're alright. It's probably just stress. You're right. You're right. There's a fresh pot of coffee downstairs. You should have a cup. You do good. I never start the day without my cafe fix. Thanks. Maybe I will. No problem, Salio. Thanks, Neil. I guess I cannot go all the way to the other side, right? But all right then. Good thing that I recognized you. You're definitely a Todd's boyfriend. Does that mean that Todd lives here with us? Or who is living in this one? Sal's room. Gizmo was with us. Okay, so I'm definitely at college. And apparently... Can I get coffee? Mules love this stuff, but I hate the taste. No thanks. Fair point, fair point. Front door. It's so bright outside. Well, I guess I'm not going outside then. Maybe the exit from the basement? Because I don't think my phone is upstairs or here. Not really in the mood. Or here. Hey, Gizmo! Have you seen my phone? I'm looking for it. Did you use it? Have you seen it around? Oh, look! A Brazilian flag down there. Ah, nice. That's where I'm from. You also have an Italian flag. A Russian flag. A German flag. Hey, that's Cinnamon Toast Cat. Is that Alan Zuka? Or Alan Zoka? I don't know how you actually pronounce it. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Brazilian YouTuber. He plays a lot of video games. I believe he played... Maybe that's why they're all here. I see. Probably all YouTubers that supported and helped to uh, make Sally face the thing. That's why the Brazilian flag is there. Because Alan Zoka is from Brazil. Alright. Ah, the outside. Barbecue? No. Oh, there's a code. We just update the lock and I'm not sure what Todd said the new code to. I have numbers with me. Three, four, two, six, nine, seven. No? Oh, come on. I'm trying different angles from the numbers that I have. I don't know. Let me see if Neil knows. Hey Neil, do you know the, the passcode down there? Oh, I can I can talk to him more, I didn't know. Uh, have you seen my cell phone? I can't find it anywhere. Oh yeah, I found it outside last night, on the porch. I didn't want to leave it there, so I brought it in. I almost forgot I had it. Thanks, I didn't realize I left it outside. No worries, happened to the best of us. Here you go, man. Well, thank you. Before I keep talking to you, let me put my phone to charge, just in case, and then I'll come back, and then I keep talking to you about other stuff. Just, just in case, you know? I'll check back in a minute. Yeah, just leave it there. Cool, 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 cool. And now I can go back and talk to Neo a little bit more. Because I don't know, man, I feel like the puzzles of this game are a little bit weird sometimes. Anyway, where's Todd? He has class this morning. Alright. How goes the ghost hunting? Todd was saying that it's been pretty slow lately on that front. Slow? I wish. I mean, yeah, slow. It's been slow. You boys are trying to keep me protected again, aren't you? It's sweet, but you know, I can handle myself, right? Plus, I am two years older than y'all too. That doesn't make much of a sense to me, Neo. It doesn't make you less protective or something. No, I know. It's just that we... 
Yeah, yeah. Four friends made a pact five years ago, and I can respect the loyalty behind that. Actually, I think it's pretty dang cute. <laughs> Speaking of cute, I heard that the lovely Ash was coming to town today. The lone wolf of the four horsemen returns. Are you excited? We're supposed to catch up this afternoon. So, that's a no on the excitement then. No, I can't wait to see her. I'm just, you know, feeling tired today. There's still coffee downstairs. Calling her name. Sally Face, come get some. I can hear my name being called by it as well. Did you hear those strange noises? The coffee calling? He probably did. Uh, I'm gonna have to be a bit more specific, Mr. Sleepyhead. Uh, last night, I thought I heard something like a weird siren. I didn't hear anything like that. Maybe Gizmo was up watching TV? No, it wasn't that. It was kind of like a... Uh, never mind. Probably just a nightmare. Gosh, man, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm good. I just probably need more coffee, you know, Neil? That's probably all that I need. Much more coffee. I just shove them up my veins, just directly into it. Just put it in my arm and pump it in. Too much? Maybe. Let me check my phone. Maybe it's charged. It looks like it's charged now. There's a new message from Larry. Oh, cool. Let me check. Cell phone reminds me of old walkie talkie days. <laughs> you awake? Uh, yeah. And now, what's up? Something is wrong with Addison Apartments. Or then ghosts and creepy basement? I'm serious. I'm coming over. Give me a few minutes. Okay, text me when you're ready. Ready? Oh, hey, no. Alright, we're going for it. Oh, we we actually going for it. I didn't even went outside to check. Oh no! Jesus! Episode 4, The Trial. Oh. Well. That guy doesn't have a big patch of hair in the back of his... Well, anyway. Prosecutor. This all seems to be a dramatic change from your original story, Mr. Fisher. Isn't it true you had initially stated that you were not in contact with Larry Johnson? Yes. Then why are you changing your story now? So you admit to lie in your original statement. Yes. I was in shock from what happened. What had happened and thought that the truth would be more harmful. But no one would believe me. I didn't know what else to do. And how can we trust anything you say now? How are you... How are we to decipher what is true and what is a lie? All I have left is the truth. It's important that people hear what I have to say. Whether they believe it or not. Well... I hope for their sake that they do. Is that a threat? It's a warning. And they are very close together. Would you have us believe that there is still a killer on the loose in Knockfell? That all of the evidence presented today, the victim's blood on your clothes and skin, your fingerprints on the murder weapon, the security footage, the eyewitness accounts, that all of these things were some elaborate cover-up created by who? The county police department? If it's alright with the court, I'd like to continue my testimony. It's important that the story to be told chronologically. In order to prevent details from being taken out of context. Well, more so than they already have been. I will allow it. <laughs> Please, continue with your testimony, Mr. Fisher. But realize we will expect answers to these questions the prosecutor has presented. Everything will be answered. Then proceed. Cool, let's go. We're finally going to figure out what the hell was happening that day. Oh, look at Larry being all grown up, man. I'm telling you, do something seriously wrong. Did you see the demon again? No, I haven't seen it since we blasted it years ago. 
I even went through every inch of the building this morning with the super gear boy and found nothing. All the ghosts have been missing for weeks. That's a little odd. Though, who's to say it's a bad thing? Maybe they were able to finally pass on. I don't know, man. I've been getting this horrible feeling. Like something under my skin. Crawling around, itching at the back of my skull. It's like the quiet before the storm or some shit. I can feel it. Huh. What? Deja vu. I've been getting that feeling too. Like everything is foggy and there's something there just beyond the fog. Just waiting. Yes, exactly! Whatever it is, it's coming from the apartments. So are you gonna come and check it out or what? Of course I will. That's it then. We're going to check it out. Should we get Todd? He has class today. Alright. Oh, I was hoping he had a new gadget or something. Has been working on something, but I don't think it's finished yet. The guitar mods are finally done, but Todd hasn't shown me how to use it yet, so that's not too mess with it. Hopefully it works better than that box thing he made last year. Yeah, I'd like to keep my guitar in one piece. <laughs> sure thing, we all like to keep the guitar in one piece, eh? So are you all packed up? Almost. I want to get the rest moved over this weekend. Be nice to finally get out of that basement. Cool. So that's how we can use the van too. Sweet. Yeah. I cannot pause by the way. I'm trying but I can't. I guess I was supposed to just keep on walking. Oh, there's a, there's a road key over there. Well, I cannot go over there. So, Knockfell Homes. Affordable homes in the beautiful hillside district. Pretty nice. So are we living that close to the thing? Never, o Never Oak Cemetery. Hmm. No comments about the cemetery, huh? Phelps Ministry. Yeah, there's a church. God sees all, but does he really? They saw. Yeah? What if everything is too broken to fix? Like... Why are we the only ones doing anything about any of this? I think everyone else just chooses to ignore the fact that everything is so broken, you know? How can they? I don't get it. How are other people so happy? Why can't we be like that? Maybe it's because we actually give a shit. Or maybe it's because we can ignore how messed up th things are around here. I guess. I don't know, dude. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? There's a whole cult apparently going on on town and everybody knows it, but nobody's doing anything about it. Edison Apartments. Yep, there it is. The Edison Apartments. But we're just going to keep going on the next episode. I'm going to stop this one right here. So if you like it, you know what to do. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel to, uh, for more. I'm going to play tons of other games besides this one. And as usual, hope you all have a happy ever after. And I'll see you on the next day.